Hey there folks, it is Rob. Welcome back to a brand new weekly watch video. Every single week I'm going to be watching movies Monday through Friday. And on the weekend I'm going to show you guys what I watched by making a video. Usually I watch one movie per day, but this week I went ahead and watched two movies per day. And this is just a random theme week. Uh, no specific theme whatsoever. But I'm going to explain when we get to each day how I categorized it. So, Monday, I went with a couple of obsessed films. And what I mean by that is there's a person in the movie that is obsessed with somebody else. The first one here is The Fan with Robert De Niro and Wesley Snipes. This is an awesome movie. Probably my top 10 favorite De Niro films as well as Wesley Snipes. But yeah, Robert De Niro is obsessed with Wesley Snipes and this and you know Wesley Snipes is a baseball player and um you know De Niro like kidnaps his kid and like I don't know, he's just he's really just kind of a mean person in this movie. But um yeah. It's a it's a really good thriller. But uh yeah, if you haven't seen it, definitely check this one out. I would say Cape Fear is better than this movie but this is still still awesome for De Niro now the other one I watched is Unlawful Entry Kurt Russell Ray Liotta rest in peace Ray Liotta Madeline Stowe another movie about an obsessed person uh, basically Ray Liotta is this cop who is obsessed with Madeline Stowe and she's married to Kurt Russell in this and so like he gets in the way um, you know, and uh, tries to move in on her and stuff like that. It's a really good movie. One of my favorite thrillers here. Definitely my top ten favorite Kurt Russell films. So those are the movies I watched Monday. Moving on to Tuesday, I watched a couple of James Wan films. First one here is Death Sentence with Kevin Bacon awesome revenge movie but James Wan he really knows how to film these um, thrills you know type movies um, this movie is just unnerving it's 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 crazy it's like non-stop um, basically Kevin Bacon's son gets killed by these gang of, of thugs right there and then he goes after them not knowing how to use a gun and stuff and he goes after them uh, it's just like a big, huge revenge movie. Um, this is awesome. It's just so cool. The music is great. And, you know, like, you know, the director of Saw, of course. So the other one I watched is the very first Saw. And very fitting for, you know, James Wan. Now, the thing is, I, you know, I wanted to revisit this movie because it's been a while since I've seen it. But the very first Saw is really good. Very different from the other movies. Really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Wednesday, uh, I watched some movies that are based on like a television show or video game. So that's what I went with Wednesday. First one here is Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. This is the newest Resident Evil movie. Um, this movie definitely has problems, but I don't think it's as bad as people say. The casting is probably the worst thing about it. Other than that, it's got some really cool scenes. I think the effects are really good. And, yeah, it does follow the games quite well. In fact, maybe a little bit too well. But I think the casting is just way off. I mean, that guy is not Wesker. That looks nothing like Wesker. And this guy doesn't look anything like Leon. Um... <laughs> I mean, other than that, the movie is fun. The other one is based off a TV show, and we have Power Rangers. Now, it's not Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, it's just Power Rangers. Elizabeth Banks plays Rita. Um, basically, a reboot kind of movie. Uh, really good. This I wish that this would have got a sequel. Um, they did a good job with this movie. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, it's not perfect. Um, 
but it's it was a lot of fun. It was a nice change, you know, from what we got with the Mighty Morphin series. Because I'm a huge Power Rangers fan, so. Moving on to Thursday, watched a couple Stallone films. Um, first one here is Tango and Cash. Kurt Russell, Stallone, together, awesome buddy cop movie. Probably my top ten favorite buddy cop films. Um, you know, really, really good. Every single time I watch this movie, I laugh, and I just have a lot of fun with them kicking ass. And um, Just a really good movie. I'm really glad I got it on Blu-ray. Um, you know, it's one of those films that you need on Blu-ray for sure. The other one I watched is Look Down On, and that is Rhinestone. Stallone and Dolly Parton. This is a funny movie. It is. I grew up with this movie. My parents used to watch it all the time. And I think Stallone is hilarious in this film. He tries to learn how to be a country singer because there's this bet going on. And, you know, he's from the streets. He's basically a cab driver. And Dolly Parton is a country singer. She tries to turn him into a country singer. So it's very, very funny to see him try to transition into a country singer. Um, there's a lot of funny parts. So I like this movie. I don't care what anybody says. It's way better than Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. But it's not the worst Stallone film. Friday, I watched a couple of family films, some you know, some of which I grew up with. The first one here is Heavyweights. Um, ben Stiller uh, has Tony Perkis. Uh, basically, this kid goes to fat camp and... Uh, ben Stiller's character buys out the camp and turns it into a weight loss infomercial and basically tries to get these kids to do what he says and the kids try to basically fight back. It's really good. I, I've i always enjoyed this movie. I think it's a lot of fun. There's a, there's a lot of the kids from uh, Mighty Ducks are in this. Um, but yeah... Still a really good family film, still to this day. My kids actually like this one, too. The last one I watched is from 1986, and I grew up with this, and that is Space Camp. I mean, I don't know if any of you out there remember Space Camp. Leah Thompson, Kelly Preston, uh, Lee Phoenix. Um, but, yeah, I believe Lee Phoenix is actually Joaquin Phoenix. He's just a little boy there. But basically, yeah, it, um, really good. It's got Kate Capshaw. Um, I think Tom Selleck's even in this. Um, but it basically, you know, a bunch, a bunch of kids sit in the space shuttle, and the space shuttle launches, um, or they have to launch the space shuttle, otherwise it's going to blow up. And so they have to be sent into space. And when they're in space, stuff starts going wrong. Um, you know they're gonna lose oxygen they got to get oxygen and um, got to figure out how to get back to earth so it's it's really good I don't know it's they showed like the training like they go to space camp and they show like the, the training modules and stuff like that really good movie I've, I remember my dad had this my dad had this movie recorded on a blank VHS tape back in the day and I used to watch it so much that the VHS you know the the tape actually had uh you know lines going through it and stuff because I watched it so much Kelly Preston um you know I had a huge crush on her and then of course Leia Thompson I did too but um yeah there are 80s crushes anyway Space Camp is the last one that's what I finished with um on Friday during the, the week. So, hope you guys enjoyed my weekly watch video. Stay tuned for next week. I'm not going to tell you the theme or anything. It's just going to be, you know, kind of a last minute thing. You'll just have to watch the video to see what movies that I picked. Like I said, subscribe for more content. Um, and I appreciate every single view and subscriber. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back once again next week.